Today I decided to do my number one most requested video and make nitrocellulose, or flash paper. To begin this process, I start by mixing equal volumes of 68% sulfuric acid and 98% red fuming nitric acid. These two acids will react to produce the nitration capable nitronium ion and here are the mechanisms if you're interested. Keep in mind that this process produces a lot of acid fumes and must be done in a fume hood or outdoors. This process also involves the use of very dangerous acids and should only be conducted if you have training to do so. In any case, all I do now is add some form of cellulose to my nitrating mixture and allow it to sit for 15 minutes. I used paper towels as my source of cellulose because it was easy, but any type of cellulose would do. As a side note, I'm just doing this video for science, and if you want nitrocellulose, there are much easier ways to get it. Uh, ping pong balls, for example, which you can buy anywhere, are made mostly out of nitrocellulose. Anyway, after 15 minutes, I add my nitrocellulose to a concentrated bath of sodium bicarbonate solution to neutralize all the excess acid. This is important because excess nitric acid will cause further reactions that will ruin the nitrocellulose over time. The bicarbonate is added in small batches until no more bubbling occurs, which indicates that the acid is completely neutralized. Once all of the acid has been neutralized, you want to rinse your nitrocellulose in a large amount of distilled water to get rid of all of the excess bicarbonate. At that point, all you want to do is thoroughly dry your nitrocellulose and then store it in a dark, cool, dry area. And that's only done because nitrocellulose is susceptible to mold, just as regular cellulose is. In any case, that's the entire process. Uh, hang around for the rest of the video to see some demonstrations of nitrocellulose. And as always, if you like this content and want to see more chemistry, follow for more and consider becoming a patron.